hey, y'all, check this out. Wow. I saw this on Twitter. And I hope I'm not mispronouncing it. If I, and if I am, uh, please forgive me. But, yo, this was like really, really, uh, just really just kind of caught me. I was like, wow, this is a powerful tweet by Kenta Guanjes. It says, quote, the man who will not fight for the protection of his wife and children is a coward and deserves to be ill-treated. The man who takes his life in his hand and stands up for what he knows to be right will always command the respect of the enemy. End quote. John Everett Bruce. The man who will not fight for the protection of his wife and children is a coward and deserves to be ill-treated. Who's that sound like? Does it sound like it might be the white man, the Hispanic man, the Asian man? Let's see. Not the Ukraine because they're fighting back. We know it's not Pooty Poo Crew, which falls in with the white man. I know in the BC we have a lot of that. John Edward Bruce. Mm. The man who will not fight for the protection of his wife and children is a coward and deserves to be ill treated. <clears throat> wow. And I look, I reading that, I'm thinking to myself. And yet the women, when something happens, we're supposed to get our marching boots on and knuckle up and fight. Then it makes me think on a broader scale. The fact that in the BC, they won't fight for the protection of the their wives and children. We're going to have to add baby mama. And back then it was more maybe wife. But in this stage, we're going to have to, uh, you know, put in baby mama. Number two, how can they fight for the women and children when that's who's been murdered in the black community? Black women being murdered, what, every 5.5 hours? The man who will not fight for the protection of his wife and children is a coward and deserves to be ill-treated. Who is being ill-treated mainly by maybe some guys and gals in uniforms with badges? And then the sad thing is you look up their background and you might see some DV history. But they want you to march. When something happens, they become a hashtag. Think about it. One more time. The man who will not fight for the protection of his wife and children is a coward and deserves to be ill-treated. Ooh. And looking at this photo, uh, this is of ancient time. So I'm not going to make this a long video. I just want to put this out because I got to like super go. But then it says a man who takes his life in his hand and stands up for what he knows to be right. Will always come in the respect of his enemy. John Edward Bruce. They say the white man is the enemy to black, to black community. But you know what that white man can see? The dominant society. Black women are surely taking their life into their hands. And they're doing what they know to be right. Like raise their children as a single parent. Because a father is not there. IJS. They don't go, well, gee, your father been in you. And guess what? I will too. Strong, keep on going on with or without, and most time without. The black woman taking her life in her hands, she provided for herself and her children, and sometimes her mama and her man. She's definitely taking her life in her hands, trying to take charge of her destiny, right? Goldman Sachs, that's why all these investments, Aberdeen, MasterCard, I think Discover too. When people invest in you, they respect you. Keep that in mind. When people invest in you, because they, they respect you, they believe in you. That's why they invest in you. 
You think Goldman Sachs is slow? Hate to say, most Dusties before that announcement came out, most of them ain't never even heard of Goldman Sachs. I don't know, man. He might be living down a hall. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know where he stay at. What? Do I know a baby mama? We got some people with baby mama? No, Goldman Sachs. I don't know that dude. It, I don't know. I don't know him. Didn't have a clue. So, you guys, I'm, I got to go. Check this out. Let me know what you think. I'm out.